health and safety doesn't <laughs> exist. I... Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'll start off with a little story. Kurt Walter, the founder of Icon 1000, the famous US-based custom motorcycle and gear company, set about building a 1960s drag racing inspired Triumph Speedmaster based on a 2013 Triumph Speedmaster. In essence, he took this classic design and he turned it into a drag racing monster by attaching, among other things, two cylinders of nitrous to each of the forks. And because of the success of the bike and the, the huge appeal that it had, Rec Watches, the Danish based watch company, decided to collaborate with Icon 1000 on the Triumph Speedmaster Icon 1000 to create. And this has just arrived. It's just arrived and it's so new that it's got all of the stickers on it to create the Icon TTT. 1000 or the Icon 1000 TTT. So TTT stands for Twist the Throttle and that is the motorcycling focused watches from REC. So it's a Danish company, they make Swiss, they make Swiss built watches. Get ready for this. The last one I showed you was the Escape TTT, the Steve McQueen inspired one. This one, though, isn't a sample. This is actually one of the 242 that will be built. So it's incredibly limited edition. Only 242 will be made. This is the box it comes in. Little certificate there and also there, just to show that this is a legit watch. Now, the link here is the Stata cover from that 2013 Speedmaster has been used to create all 242 inner dials there. So every watch is unique because the very inner dial there, right in the middle, that has been used to be made from the Stata cover of that 2013 Bonneville. Fun fact quickly, that 2013 Bonneville has the exact same 865cc engine as my Bonneville. <laughs> How good is that? So. There are design influences throughout with this watch. If we start with the strap itself, that mirrors the seat of the Icon 1000 watch. You can see it's so new. I can't believe I'm doing this because this is one of the originals, but I have to, to show you the functionality. You can see there just on the side, it's number, not 242, sorry, 262. So that's number 34 of 262. It's got a skeleton design, so you can see through it, imitating the naked nature of the Triumph Bonneville Speedmaster. It's got Icon 1000's famous tagline, which is, go fast there, if you can see that. If the camera can pick it up. Go fast there, and then, this is the special bit, that's on dress mode. When you're on your bike, turn it 30 degrees to ride mode, and that says look flash. Mm -hmm. So look flash for that bit, mm -hmm. and back to go fast on that bit. Mm -hmm. I carry on with a few references, because on this Speedmaster drag racing bike, they wrapped the forks in black and white to imitate the, the planes used in the Normandy invasion of World War II. So all of the planes would have white and black stripes, so the Allies could identify all of their planes on their side and not have any friendly fire incidents. Mm -hmm. So right on the edge of that arm, you can see there the black and white stripes imitating that. You've got the exhausts imitated by the side here attaching the strap. And then you've, of course, got the wording icon there. But what, oh, what a special piece. Mm -hmm. I really, really like these. They're very special watches. I, I just feel a very nice attachment to these. And this one from a US-based custom chop shop or custom motorcycle shop, it's beautiful. If you use, it's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Use code Freddy15 
for 15% off either of the TTT, the Twist, the Throttle watches. I don't know how long it lasts, but if you're interested in going grab one, 15% off. And here, once it's on, so dress mode, and turn it there 30 degrees for when you're on the bike. Okay, I have to show you something because Monica wanted to head off to a beautiful castle called mm -hmm. Trakai. It's one of the big tourist destinations in, uh, in Lithuania. I wanted to go to a, a town right on the Belarusian <laughs> border. So two completely different ideas. And the reason I'm on my phone now is because we couldn't decide. Mm -hmm. We were arguing like crazy and we decided to do a poll on, on YouTube. And the poll simply was, where would be more interesting to go to a town near the Belarusian border, really completely away from anything touristy, or go to a beautiful castle surrounded by lakes. And honestly, I have no idea, so I'm just about to check. Great, well, I've, I've lost badly. <laughs> yeah. Monica wins. With, oh, it's amazing. With 80% of the votes. I think some people even started feeling sorry for me. They said, Freddie, good luck. Looks like you're heading off to a castle. So. <laughs> We will have our coffees, go and get the bike, and then I think it's about 40 minutes away. It's now, oh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, it's Friday. What a way to spend the afternoon. I better tuck into these. Well, I've checked the forecast. It is glorious all afternoon, so we've picked the perfect day for it. Trakai is 20 miles directly west from us. It's to the west of Vilnius. It will take us about 45 minutes to get there. Monica is delighted because she's just had a message on YouTube saying, I highly recommend you take a pedal boat mm -hmm. to explore the area around Trakai Castle. So let's see what there is to offer, but couldn't be nicer. This bike encourages foolishness off-road because it's just the way it is. Every time I'm going along a main road and I see a dirt track, I, I just, oh, I can't help myself. I just start turning off. So we'll see what there is on the way there, on the way back. And if I can persuade Monica to get involved in some off-roading, some light off-roading. Maybe not today. Right, I'm excited. Let's go. is stunning it's by a huge distance the most touristy place i've seen and i've seen over there paddle boats for rent all the way along trakai castle is right there on the next island along because the islands here are attached by bridges so i think what we'll do we'll grab a bite to eat get a paddleboard after that and actually paddle around to the other side of trakai castle because we should get an incredible view over there it's I think it may be the most beautiful area of Lithuania that we've seen so far. It's stunning and what an afternoon to grab it on.
to walk for seven minutes to get to this restaurant that Monica found on Google, and it's got high recommendations. I think it's called in English translation the the old pastry house, mm -hmm. and I'll put Sanoi Kebinine. And I'll put all of the details in the written description because to give you an idea, Margarita Pizza, right in the heart of Trakai, where we just were, 15 euros. Margarita Pizza here, five euros fifty. So it's a massive difference price range, and it's extremely authentic. This is an oat, a fermented oat-based drink, which is traditional. Mm -hmm. Gera. What's it called? Gera. Gera. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Does it taste like beer? It's a kind of. I think it's around about 1.5% or yeah. something like that, but apparently children drink that. Yes, they do. Yes. So it's, it's fine for everyone. Salty Bache, which is the beetroot soup. That's three euros eighty. We're about to get a pastry that's just two euros, and I think this drink is about one euro fifty. So it's brilliant value, and it's just a five or six minute walk away from Trakai Castle. It's just the fact that it's not bang in the touristy bit. Brilliant, and so much character. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We've ordered quite a lot. <laughs> these are Monica. What's the Lithuanian name for these? Kibane. Kibane, mm -hmm. which is in essence, I think. I've just heard when there are, there are tours here, English-speaking tours, they liken these to Cornish pasties. Mm -hmm. And... Mushrooms inside. Mushrooms inside that one, yeah. Very like Cornish pasties mm -hmm. with banana pancakes there. Hopefully we'll actually get to see some of Trakai, because all we're doing right now is just <laughs> eating around the area of Trakai. Okay, we're going to finish these off and then it's 10 to 4. The problem with Lithuania, I know that from about 4.35 o'clock, the mosquitoes anywhere near water or the forest get totally unbearable and I look, look like the elephant man tomorrow. So we need to try and get onto one of those boats as quickly as possible because we think there may be a small church on one of the islands. Yeah, like, there is, yeah. yeah? yeah. That we had no idea about, or at least I didn't. Yeah. So we're going to try and uh, paddle over to those. So we need to gorge these as quickly as possible. Just seen this, which is an aerial shot of Trakai Castle, and you can see all of the different islands around. And I think, sorry, the bulb light's just there. I think the church island's somewhere around here. So we're going to try and take a paddle boat from here, ride it all the way around to Trakai here, and then head off and try and find the church island somewhere around here. I hope. I think you've got free reign. You can go anywhere you want. There are no restrictions. Oh. Tell me there's a better way to spend a Friday afternoon. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. R riding over by motorbike, blue sky to Trakai Castle here. A few fun facts. Oh, this is just so fun. Built in 14, or building completed in 1409. In around the year 1511, it was used as a prison. Then during the wars of the 17th century, it fell into disrepair. And it was only up until probably about two or three hundred years of just completely falling and falling into disrepair until finally in the 1950s they started doing a big renovation on it and I think it was in the mid 1960s that finally the renovations finished. And that's why you can see a real mix of pretty old looking parts of the castle and actually the brickwork especially in the middle looking very very new but this was a castle of huge strategic importance huge in years gone by in Lithuania uh, castle was lovely everything amazing but more than that the, the, the setting is mind-blowingly stunning these are 10 euros an hour you don't need to sign anything you don't need to pay anything before you take it when you're back you just pay for however long you've had it, and oh. you are, you've got free Ready? reign to go. Monica's now petrified because... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, wait, I don't care. know if... Monica, get down. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my... The oh health my and safety God. doesn't exist. <laughs> I... Okay, that would not be allowed in England. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> oh, it's a good workout as well. It's about 27 degrees and we're wearing full-on biking gear. Oh, it's brilliant. Look at us standing. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's, it's a really incredible way to spend the day. Yeah. Amazing. Really incredible. A Ukrainian flag, of course. I mean, so are you happy that we came here? Yeah, well done, Monica. And thank you, everyone, on YouTube for disagreeing with me. This is really, really pleasant. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Well, this is 
a residential building that was built in 1895. Mm -hmm. It is considered one of the most important residential buildings in Lithuania due to its size and beauty. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, in 1940, during the Russian's occupation of Lithuania, this was nationalized and turned into a sanatorium. Now I can see, well, it's as pretty as any building I've ever seen and makes absolute sense. So we can see a couple just getting married at the top yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Amazing. What a spot for a wedding. It doesn't get prettier, does it? Yeah, amazing. Stunning. I've just seen a little jetty. Apologies if my appearance starts looking more disheveled. <laughs> no, let's just stop. Oh, but it's really hot now. I have to carry on. I found a jetty with a lovely <laughs> stone built uh, staircase up there. Interestingly, there were about 20 outbuildings here, wooden outbuildings where the servants, the farmers, would stay and live. And there was a huge amount of farmland around here that would support this old, I guess you call it old manor house. I just want to go and see what's the other side. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Arthur, Monica, you're going to be okay there for a minute or so. Yes. Perfect. You can see how far the grounds extend with that brick bridge over there. <sighs> okay. Walking up these old stairs here with beautiful view of the lake and Trakai Castle in the distance. And I have no idea what to expect up here. Oh, wow. Here's the house. I'll get back. Monica probably at her limit, stranded in the boat by the side of the bank. Stunning, though. really, really beautiful. I think I counted, I'm sure, three or four different weddings going on at the same time. Photo shoots in different corners of the house, things like that. Very busy with, uh, with everyone suited and booted, in essence, but beautiful setting, landscape gardens. Stunning. Take care. Private water taxi. Oh, perfectly done. <laughs> oh, no, shall reverse oh I'm going to have to jump in. Oh, be careful. Wait, wait, wait. I can reverse. Okay. In you come. I'm sure that's further away. <laughs> So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> right, let's wrap it up there. What a day. In fact, before I do Monica, just to show what Trike is like, can you show 180 just mm -hmm. to show down that street? Because it's not just the beautiful lake, it's actually all of the buildings around it and the surrounding area. Beautiful wood built houses with tiled roofs, really, really characterful. But Monica, this was your day. Oh, yes. Amazing day. Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, so much really, fun. I cannot believe how much fun we had. It was amazing. I'll include all of the details of that restaurant in the written description below because that restaurant turns us into a really nice day out. We paid the equivalent of £17 for a lot of different courses. It was mm -hmm. brilliant, brilliant value. And this makes a really superb day. That is unbelievably stunning. Over so at will you trust me next time? Yes, I shall trust you. Thank I shall you. trust you. It was magical, <laughs> really as stunning as it gets. Um, if you are interested in one of the TTT Twist the Throttle wreck watches, this one or the Steve McQueen one, use code Freddy15 for 15% off. Oh, I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. I highly recommend these. I, I genuinely, genuinely love them. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along for today's mini adventure. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one from from the coast, from Nida. Yes. See you there. Take care. Bye.